Located in central Moscow, the Russian Polytechnic Museum is dubbed by many as a living history book. This sound is recognized by millions. Old TV sets once showed this picture. The pathbreaker of television technology, Vladimir Zworkin, was born in the small town of Morem near Moscow in 1888. It was he who in the early 1930s invented the iconoscope, a high vacuum television tube. In 1936 it was used in Germany to broadcast the Olympic Games. This invention by Zworkin led to the color image in the 1940s. Another stage in the history of television began. Polytechnic Museum is the only museum in Russia of the kind. There are some museums like abroad. Of course, some foreign ones were used as a sample. But in Russia, it is the only museum devoted to the history, science and equipment. Yet radio was the first to be developed. While the world was praising Italian engineer Guillermo Marconi for the invention of the radio telegraph system, Russian scientist Alexander Popov invented the message transmission through radio waves. Debates on who was the first are still on. In 1894, Popov built one of the first radio receivers. On May the 7th, 1895, at the Russian Physical Chemical Society Congress, Popov demonstrated transmission and reception of radio signals. In Russia, this day is now celebrated as Radio Day. Popov was also the first person ever to use a wire aerial. Several decades later, another pathfinder surprised the world. It was Yuri Gagarin who blasted off into space aboard the Soyuz manned spaceship in 1961. Our museum opened exhibition dedicated to space immediately after the first ever satellite flew into space in 1957. That exhibition started the history of the Russian cosmonautic department in the museum. Today, the Polytechnic Museum is also a big playground. The latest technology allows visitors to learn more about inventions and history. The universe is a huge draw. The new exhibitions have multimedia showpieces and modern devices, including interactive boards. But original things attract attention most of all. There is plenty of interesting things designed in our country. This spacesuit was worn by astronauts to keep them alive in outer space in extreme temperatures. The suit was invented in the 1930s. The moonwalker was designed for a landing on the moon. Russian scientist Alexander Kermerdijian designed it. Russians call this machine the Lunohod. These lunar surface vehicles were part of the Soviet Union moon program. Moonwalkers took pictures on the moon and sent them back to Earth. Robotic systems and silicon chips are among the showpieces. Russia's inventive past is alive and well at the Polytechnic Museum. And only time can tell what future Russian inventions will be in store at the museum.